Hello, hello, hello. It's Wednesday and it's time to talk about something that is absolutely crucial to you as a female entrepreneur and that is about your marketing. And we are going to explore why spraying and praying with your marketing is not going to generate you the results that you want and I'm going to share with you what you can do instead to ensure that whenever you work in your business you get the desired outcomes from your activities and that's what we want isn't it we all want to understand how to work smarter in our business and we all want to increase our results as well as business owners so that's what we're going to explore today so if you haven't met me or you haven't um, seen an introduction for me for a little while you're wondering who the heck I am I'm Rachel Smith I am the founder of the business grower I am the business grower and my really massive passion is working with female business owners female entrepreneurs who have both an offline and online business I work with clients who have you know either an offline or online business or a mixture of both and I really work with those women who've been in business for a little while that you've kind of got your um, a lot of the foundation pieces in place um, however you're working really freaking hard in your business and you're wondering why you aren't attracting those big glorious juicy results in that you see everybody else um, attracting and I, some of my specialties is about mindset so I absolutely love working with female entrepreneurs about the, on their mindset and helping them improve their mindset and for them to have put in place a daily mindset practice and my other kind of superpowers is always about getting you into taking action as well. So we can learn all we want, we can be coached all we like, um, but unless we're actually taking action, it's going to not really change very much at all. And I certainly have had experiences, many experiences in the past where I've brought really brilliant products and services, but because the accountability and because the action taking element um, in the product or service has just not been there or it's not been robust enough, I haven't made any progress at all. So whenever I'm sharing content like this or a paid service, it's always about getting you into action. So marketing. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about spraying and praying, and I'm going to expand on, on what I mean by that. So as you come on board, come say hi. I, as always, I really love for these um, lives to be as engaged as possible. If you're watching this back through the recording, whether that you've received this through my email list or you've watched it on YouTube and you've got questions about how this relates to your business or anything you want to have a chat with me about, um, come and ask me, put them in the comments. I will see your comments, I will respond to them. Hi Amy, lovely to see you here. So um, here we are in um, the middle of our week and we're gonna be talking about marketing because I was talking about um, something last week and I used the term spraying and praying and I, I knew that that really resonated with my audience. So I'm coming back to really explore and expand on that. So um, you may have heard this term before, you may not have heard that term before. Um, it was a term that I heard for the first time when I was really new to business in kind of 2012 and I had a it's quite a different business to the business that I have today and it was from my very first business coach and a phenomenal woman uh, Bernadette Doyle and she used this this term spraying and praying and what do we mean by that we, we this relates to when we approach our marketing like a scattergun that we so the, and basically what I see happen a lot is um, number one, hi Andrea, lovely to see you here. No, the number one thing I see with marketing is that people understand, you know, people, female entrepreneurs understand that they need to be marketing in their business. So what happens is that they go out there and they, they create some content um, and they share it everywhere. And when there isn't a strategy behind that content that is spraying and praying that is basically thinking oh my gosh i haven't 
done a live or I haven't shared some content. So I'm just going to go online, I'm going to create some content, I'm going to push it out there and that's marketing ticked. And I see that happen a lot where um, perhaps you've got somebody um, like myself who could talk about mindset, they could talk about marketing, they could talk about selling, launching. So actually the, the level of content it comes from this kind of vast array of things. And if I think about um, Amy, who's here, for example, she's a branding expert and a designer. So there's loads of different things that Amy um, talks about in her marketing. But what we've got to be really careful of is that we're not going out and just spraying and praying with our content. We want to ensure that whenever we go out and create content like this today, that we are realizing this very simple thing is that your content however you choose to go out into the world with your content, this is actually you marketing your business. And if you were a marketer, so if like if you like being in marketing in a corporate sense, you will always link your marketing to a strategy. So that's what I really kind of want to highlight today in this live is that spraying and praying will make you feel as if you're doing something. It'll make you feel as if you've got that um, job off your to-do list uh, and you can probably go off and do something else. But actually, what I really want to encourage you to do is to ensure that when you are going out there and marketing yourself and your business to the world, that you are realizing that this um, marketing, you know, this content is marketing and therefore needs a strategy that sits behind it that supports you in what you're trying to achieve through that marketing. So let me know if this is resonating, let me know if you've nailed this if, or if you've forgotten this. Maybe you've, you know, you, you like me, you have a marketing background and perhaps you've kind of forgotten the simple principles about marketing, I'm sure you haven't. Um, or perhaps you've been so busy chasing, you know, being an expert at this and being an expert at that and all the different aspects that you can be an expert at in your business that you've kind of overlooked this fundamental um, aspect that you would not have a large organisation. So if you think about some of the larger organisations in the UK who market, you know, brilliantly because obviously they've got a great business. If you think about um, John Lewis, Waitrose, Max and Spencer's, they're not just spraying and praying because every time they go out to market, that costs them money. It costs them somebody sat in a, an office actually creating that content. It costs them money to put a, a TV ad out there. So of course they've got a big fat strategy about what are the desired results that they want to achieve through their marketing. And that's exactly the same for us solopreneurs, is that we want to either be growing our business or we want to be selling in our business, or maybe you want to do both of those things. And therefore, you want to be using your content, going out on social media, emailing your list, whatever it is, networking, going to events, whatever it is, you want to ensure that whatever that marketing activity is that you're doing actually supports your strategy. And everybody's got a different strategy because everybody's business is different at different points in time. So that is the kind of key element to kind of stopping praying and uh, spraying and praying. And what, it, what happens when you get really strategic with your content is something that's really brilliant, is that you get clarity about um, what your content is, what your message is, um, who you're targeting, what you have ultimately to offer, um, you, therefore you become um, really consistent with your marketing, don't you? If you've got that level of clarity, you have absolutely no problem in understanding what your message is at any point in time because you've got a plan, because you've got a, a strategy and a desired outcome that you build your content around that strategy and that desired outcome. And therefore, with that clarity, you become consistent and you begin to raise your profile in the online and offline world where your clients hang out. And you start to become very efficient at marketing in your business. So 
In a nutshell, if you are spraying and praying, it is absolutely pointless. What I want to urge you to do instead is become very clear about what your desired outcome is, create a plan with regard to what that is and how you're going to achieve it, and then create your content. Now let's talk about content because there is a lot of content out on social media and a lot of it is like white noise. It's very similar to everybody else's message. It's very bland. Um, and if you are in the cycle of spraying and praying, you know, maybe this is the first time you've really kind of realized that actually your form of uh, marketing isn't the most effective marketing that you could be doing and listening to this you think about actually there are some things I could tighten up brilliant but what I really want for you to also think about is your your message your passion that you want to ensure that your content actually you know it just delivers that that passion that you you kind of pull back from any fear of what people might think about you or your message or worrying about um, whether or not you your message is wrong or you're going to upset people it's about ensuring that your audience can really feel you through whatever content you create and one of the really cool ways that you can do that is to really create content that deeply resonates with your business with your audience so there are lots of reasons for doing this number one you will not be like you will not be white noise you will be seen and heard you will um stand out from the crowd and the way that you do this is that you look at who your audience is who your soulmate client is and you delve as deep as you can into who they are what their dreams and aspirations are and you look at their challenges and their obstacles and you create content that speaks directly to your soulmate client. And this is how you stand out. You stand out with your passion, with your message, with your voice, with your clarity. You stand out with your kind of putting your client at the heart of whatever it is that you do and ensuring that every piece of content you create um, inspires them, motivates them, um, does something that allows them to connect with you, your message and what your business stands for. And what you're looking to do with any content that you're creating is you're looking to build relationships with your audience. You're looking to build connection. Now let me give you a really good example. Here where I live, we have a really lovely, um, like a little, um, I don't know, couple of shops in the village. And one of them is a cafe. Now, this is without being like really rude, but the cafe has just recently changed hands. So we've got to kind of, you know, bear in mind that these new owners will just be settling in. But the previous owners were all about the customer experience. The previous owners were all about like connecting with their audience so you'd have you'd go in there and you'd have a conversation and you would feel that the you know that you were known that they knew who you were they knew a little bit about you and they could have a conversation with you we went in today and that connection has been lost because they've got new people in and the new people are obviously quite different from the original owners and they are they spent the whole time in the, the back in the kitchen so there was no connection and I know with something like hospitality there's a really fine line isn't there between allowing somebody to have like their hospitality experience but equally building that relationship but this is a really brilliant example of how um, we can create content, we can be busy creating content, but if it's like white noise and it's not sticking and you haven't really hit the message completely, maybe that's because you don't really know who your soulmate client is, so you're just kind of, you know, spraying your message across many different potential audiences, but there's no real connection is there. I, I don't feel inspired to go back and have a, another experience. Um, and we need to be thinking in our businesses, whatever our business is, it's about how you develop 
that connection with your audience, with your content. So let me know if this is making sense. Let me know if this is resonating, if you've got any questions that you want to ask at this point about what I'm sharing. Um, and it's really about ensuring that, yep, yeah, your content is marketing, but it's also about building relationships, isn't it? Because the reason why this is important, especially in the online business, is that the only time somebody will buy from you is when they have developed the, the know, like, and trust element. Once you get somebody into a trust relationship with you, they will buy from you. So you only have to think about your own buying experience to understand that that is absolutely true. It's probably very rare that you would walk down your local high street and go in to a new shop that you haven't had an experience with before, go in and buy. It's likely that you will go in a number of times before you decide that, that, that they are for you. And it's exactly the same for you in your business. It's not enough to be creating content. It doesn't matter how beautiful your content is or how pitch perfect your content is. If it's not resonating with your audience or if it's just spraying and praying because you can't, you haven't done the work that I've just described, is it's not going to touch your audience and you may as well actually not do it. So I am all, you know, I'm a big believer in doing it properly rather than doing it at all. If you just, if you can't be bothered to figure out who your audience is and all of the things that I've just described, and to actually sit there and work out a strategy, you are going to end up getting the same results that you're getting now. And if you're watching this, it's probably because you're actually interested in ensuring that you are marketing really efficiently and improving the results that you're getting. So, Spraying and praying is not the way forward with our content. I know in this day and age, we've got all this free um, social media, and we've got all these free design tools, and it's really tempting just to sit there with a scheduler and um, you know just schedule it all in. And if there's, and you can do that, and that can work really beautifully. But if there's no kind of element where the customer can feel as if you understand them. It, you may as well not do this at all. So spraying and praying definitely doesn't work. What does work is recognizing and kind of realizing that your content is marketing and any marketing needs a strategy. You need to understand what is the desired result that you want from your marketing. So I know that this is really big and it may be the first time that you've realized the connection. Maybe you've just been really busy doing and you've been following lots of other people's examples of how to run a business. And yes, you didn't probably create your business so you could market all the time, but that's probably what you're doing. But what I really wanted to do is just kind of highlight this with you so that if the spraying and praying did resonate with you, you've at least got some ideas about how you can change that and I really want to encourage you to create content. It might be controversial content, it might be vulnerable content, it could be um, inspirational content, but you're creating content where you are speaking to the heart of your soulmate client, and they can feel that you understand them. Now that is high quality content, isn't it? When you can do that, and some people are brilliant at doing this just in a blog post, through a live, you know, it doesn't have to be something really complicated. It can be something that's really, really simple. So, you know, in most things in life, keep it simple is the best way. And one of the reasons why I'm talking about this is because I understand that female entrepreneurs struggle with this. So I'm not slapping anybody around the face with this and saying you must be an expert. At it. I recognize that if you haven't had past marketing experience in your business, it's a lot to get your head around. Um, and I understand that and I have been marketing my uh, business coaching business for several years now and have learned so much and prior to being an entrepreneur I was um, my job was marketing and communication so I do have experience in this field 
And one of the things I love to do is bring a small group of women together uh, and work with them face to face. And that's exactly what I'm doing here in York on the 4th of October. And there are only ever 18 women in that room. And that means that I can have my eyes and ears on your business. So even though there's 18 people in that room, I will be able to help and support every person in that room as a group and as an individual. And one of the things that you will walk away from that event with, well, there's two amazing things. Well, there's lots of amazing things, but the two things that really stand out from my other events is that number one, this event is all about up leveling like your actions and therefore your results. So what number one is I've got the really fabulous Helen um, Bala coming and she's a local photographer who's awesome. And she is going to be um, working with you to create your like your like portfolio photo. And that's included in the price of the ticket. So, you know, we're, we're all taking selfies and editing them and thinking that that's okay for our Facebook pages. So she's going to sort that out for you. And the second thing that you will walk away from is your very own visibility plan that is a strategy that is about getting you to the better results, getting you the, the more sales. You know, so basically you'll be walking away with a visibility plan that's linked to you growing your business, to generating more sales in your business. And all of this is available for £149. That includes all of the content, your refreshments, your lunch, the uh, brand new portfolio photo with Helen and your visibility as well. Plus there's a, there's other things like you get to spend a day with awesome women who are coming along. Um, now I'm like, what, 10 days into promoting this um, event and I only have six seats left, which I'm delighted about. And I've just added a brand new bonus where um, the previous bonus has gone now, other people have snapped that up, that was amazing. But what I've decided to do is I really want to close down the sale of this event on Friday. I've got lots of other things I want to get on with. And I know that there's a real desire for women who are recognising at this time of year that they actually need to get their house in order to ensure that they're making the best of the next 90 days um, from their business. So um, what I'm adding as a bonus this time is if you pay in full for the event, which is £149, I will personally coach you um, through private messenger for 30 days after the event and actually help you implement the visibility plan that we come up with. So if you are interested in that, the full details are over on my website. Um, oh, there you go. I was typing in a void. Um, if you've just joined this live, hello. You're very very welcome um, I am kind of concluding um, but if you hop over to my website there's an events tab and you can click on that or you can PM me and I'm happy to send you the link but basically there's six seats left you will walk away with that event like with an up-leveled um, mindset up-leveled belief in yourself and confidence up-leveled um, visibility plan and your beautiful brand new like photo which you can use over social media which is going to be absolutely awesome so it's all about up leveling so what we've been talking today about is about reducing spraying and praying and ensuring that you're up leveling your marketing up leveling your strategy up leveling your actions so that actually if you are going to spend time doing content that it's got a real strategy that sits behind it that gets you results and that's what we're talking about so uh, let's have a look. Has anybody got any questions from what I shared? Yes, yeah, so Carol says, thanks for this. I'm thinking about um, who my soulmate client is now. Yeah, and this is what we've got to do. We've, you know, we've, we've got to, so, so often in business, we put ourselves as a solopreneur like right in the middle of it all and we get really caught up with well I don't know how to do that and everybody's better at that and I don't know this and uh, I'm scared about doing that and I'm fearful about doing this and we get so caught up in ourselves that we lose sight of the very the very person that we ought to be serving in our business who is our soulmate client and everything that you do down to your content, uh, your um, offers, anything like that. It's all about your soulmate client, isn't it? So sometimes, although it seems really rude, the best thing you can do is 
get, put yourself to one side and really focus on your soulmate client and create content that deeply resonates with them. That, you know, maybe, you know, I always talk about um, kind of like poking the beehive with a stick. Sometimes we have to do that because our um, audience might be a little bit sleepy, maybe a bit resistant to doing any change. And you can really create a, like a lot of shifts within your audience through your content. So content is really, really powerful. And that's why I felt really compelled today to jump on and just say, look, stop praying and praying, but spraying and praying with your marketing. Get smart, get savvy with your marketing, with your content, and like grow your awesome business. You can do this. And if you're thinking, well, I can't do this, come and work with me on the 4th of October. They're amazing events. The women who are coming, who have already signed up, are absolutely awesome. And I love running these events. This is gonna be the last one of 2018. So the event link is over there on my website. Any questions before I pop off? Hi, Andrea, love to see you here. Got lots of local girls, got Andrea, and um, but two Andreas who are here, Amy, ooh, you're semi-local, aren't you? Been up in um, beautiful Northumberland and Jen obviously down in uh, uh, down in the Midlands as well. Right, so I'm going to jump off if there are any questions. If you're watching the recording back and you've got questions, or you've got any clarity, or you had aha moments you want to share with me, put them in the comments below. I do see them. Okay, have a really fabulous day. Bye for now.